Uh, we're going to start our measurement unit off here with a video on surface area of rectangular prisms. So first things first, we need to talk about what surface area actually means. Surface area is defined as the sum of the areas of the faces of an object. So we're talking three-dimensional solids, right? And we're looking at finding the area, the total area of all the faces or the surfaces that are actually on the outside of this thing. So for a rectangular prism, there are actually six faces. And you can see that the front face, this one, let's call it number one, would be the same as the face that is sort of back behind here. Similarly, face number two, the top face, is the same as the face that would be underneath. So if we were to kind of like make this a little 3D, the face that would be like number two would be down here. All right, and of course the third one would be over here and over here, the two sides left and right. All right, and that's why we have sort of three groupings of two, right? We have length times width times two because there are two of them, length times height times two, and width times height times two. So when we calculate the surface area of all of our solids here in this unit, we're thinking about the outside. Surface area is outside. All the stuff that's on the outside. So in real life, if you wanted to maybe paint this box, it would be how much paint you would use. Or if you wanted to maybe put wrapping paper around a gift or something like that, it would be how much paper you would use. So let's try a few. All right, number one, we have a rectangular prism and we're looking for the surface area. SA is 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. Now the cool part about this is it doesn't matter what you label L, W, or H. It makes no difference as long as you have one letter per measurement. All right, and some of these get a little confusing because the three is over here, but it's also over here. You don't need to have it twice. The 11 is up here as well. You don't need to have it twice. All right, so what we're talking about here, we're looking at this distance that is four kilometers and this is as well. All right, and the height of this thing or the width, it doesn't matter, is right here. Now the reason it doesn't matter is because all three of these groupings cover all the combinations of L, W, and H. So in other words, if I wanted to call four kilometers the L, that would be fine as long as I called this one the H and this one, you know, the W. It doesn't matter. As long as one letter per side. All right, cool. So let's enter in our stuff and see what we get. Two times 11 times three plus two times 11 times four plus two times three times four. So we have, let's see, 2266, 2288, six and four. So surface area is, let's see, 90, 178, I think, kilometers squared. And that is your answer. Notice it's area, so we're gonna square the unit. And that's it. That would be how much stuff or how much uh, surface area is on the outside of this thing. So if you took all six faces and found the area and added them all together. All right. And by the way, if I make any errors right here in arithmetic, forgive me, I'm not using a calculator right now. Number two, surface area is 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. And for the record, you can take and mix these around all you want. Since addition is commutative, it doesn't matter the order. 
So let's see, I'm gonna set uh, eight equal to our length, four equal to our height, and seven equal to our width. It might help you to get rid of the extraneous stuff. In other words, they list a few of the dimensions more than once. So we go two times eight times seven plus two times eight times four plus two times seven times four. And right there, if I wanted to go two times four times seven, it doesn't matter because just like addition, multiplication is commutative, so you can switch those around. Two times four times seven is the same thing. It doesn't matter. So here we go. Surface area is, let's see, uh, two times eight is 16, times seven is 70, plus 42, 112, plus eight times eight is 64, plus eight times seven is 56. So let's see here, we've got uh, 112 and 64 is 176 plus 56. So that's two, that's 18, 232. Surface area is 232 kilometers squared. It's a pretty big box. Okay, number three. surface area is let's see let's assign our values here let's say this is our w this is our h and this is our length now it's this one's kind of strange because the 11 and the 11 are the same and the 11 and the 11 are the same so this is actually kind of like a square rectangular prism sort of in other words it has one of the faces this face in front is a square but it's still the same so we're gonna go 2 times L times H plus 2 times L times W plus 2 times uh, L or W times H just make sure you get all the combinations there so let's see if I wanted to I can say that well actually there are four of those things so it would be 99 times 4, 99 times 4, let's see, that's 36, that's 406, plus 22, or plus, let's do it this way, 121 times 2 is 242. So my surface area is 648, 648 meters squared. Cool. Number 4. So here we have more of, an, more of a word problem, right? What's the least amount of wrapping paper you need to cover a gift box with dimensions 8, 4, and 12? Well, if you want to draw a little picture of this, you certainly can. This would be 4, 8, and then 12 would be back this way. Something like that. It's not a great picture, but this would be the 12. All right. Wrapping paper is a question of surface area, so it's 2 times 4 times 8, plus 2 times 4 times 12, plus 2 times 8 times 12. And I'll let you finish that one. Number 5, what final dimension gives you a surface area of 220 square centimeters? Alright, so we have 2LH plus 2LW plus 2WH. Surface area is given, so we put it in right underneath surface area. And they're asking you for this dimension. Let's call that W. Let's call this L, and let's call this H. So 2 times 5 times 10 plus 2 times 5 times W plus 2 times W times H. I'll write it like this. 2 times 10 times W. So 220 is equal to, let's see, 2 times 5 is 10 is 100, plus 10w plus 20w. So we'll combine those like terms on the right, 100 plus 30w. Subtract 100, divide by 30. So it's 120 
equals 30 W, W is four centimeters, four centimeters. And you can check that back into the original, see if everything fits together. So that's kind of working backwards when you're given the surface area. Number six, so you want to paint this shed. How many square feet do you need to paint? Well, if we think about this for a second, when we paint stuff, all right, we definitely want to paint this surface. So you're going to paint that surface. You're probably going to paint the front as well. So we're going to paint all this, all this. You're going to want to paint the left side, and you're probably going to want to paint the back. Uh, but do you want to paint the bottom? I don't think so. That doesn't make a lot of sense because that's going to be sitting on the ground. So we're not going to paint the bottom. And you might not even want to paint the top. So let's say for the sake of this problem, we're not going to paint the top and we're not going to paint the bottom. So we want to find the surface area of the left and the right. So this is the right side. This is the left side over here. We're going to paint the front and the back as well. So we want to go left plus right plus front plus back. We don't want to paint the top or the bottom. Nobody's going to see the top, so we don't want to waste paint on it. And the bottom, of course, is sitting on the ground. So the left is going to be, I'm just going to do this piece by piece. The left and the right are the same. These are the same. So I'll just say that there's two of these. And it's six times five. Five times six. And these are the same, so there are two of those. And that is going to be 5.5, which is, of course, five feet six inches. 5.5. Be careful not to put 5.6 there. Times this dimension, which is six feet. And that should give us our answer. Let's see. 10 times 6 is 60 plus 5.5 uh, times 2 is 11. So that's 66. So 126 square feet. So the reason that's an important question is because when you go to the store, the home improvement store, and you're buying your paint, on each, each uh, container of paint, it'll tell you how many square feet that particular uh, container of paint covers. So it's an important question. All right, so that was our first look at surface area. Next up, we'll do surface area of cubes.